All right, so I just found this little product here and I wanted to do this in plasticity, but it turned out uh, much, yeah, not harder, but you have to use a very specific trick because look, you have a circle and you have a pentagon, right? Like how can you connect it in a, so I mean 100 million percent perfect way as you see with the lines here and if you want to improve your 3d skills even more i have a series of high quality plasticity courses for beginners and intermediate users and these step-by-step -step courses cover everything you need to know about surface modeling product design and the most effective and efficient techniques you will quickly build confidence and save time with the clear structured learning path so you can find all of my courses is in the first link in the description box and now let's dive in into our today's tutorial all right so let's delete here our guy and just uh, let's quickly analyze so we have here um, a pentagon shape and then we have the circle and then we have this very smooth perfect connection and i will also just quickly show you what i thought the solution will be but it's it's not and this is also what most of you I think would try to do in the beginning. So let's quickly do that. First of all, go to the top view. So I mean, this will be already the correct solution. And yeah, so first of all, we need here a regular polygon and just snap to the middle. And if you have like five or so, then just the scroll wheel up and down, you can add. So five, six, seven, eight, so something like that and perfect so now press e for extrude so let's extrude create a nice surface delete that guy curve and now what we want to do is because we have here some nice fillets so let's do that too so just select here in edge mode all of those edges and give it here a nice fillet but click here g2 so it's just a little bit smoother and this should be fine here and maybe like that, but that's okay. And now front view, uh, top view and circle. And let's create here a little, let me see. Yeah, let's create here a nice little circle, something like that. And let's bring, so also you see it here, it's, uh, it has a little bit of a distance. So let's bring it maybe here to the middle. Okay, and yeah, what now? <laughs> because maybe someone tries, okay, or I will just select those edges and just love that and give it here G0. Um, okay, this, you see it's just straight, so it's not what we want. And we have those yeah, very ugly uh, things here where we have the corner, so this is not the way. So then we can try to create here some curves, but first of all, I want to rotate this guy because if we go here to the top view, you see the corners are aligned to the to the like to the x and y axis, but I want that the straights are connected uh, aligned to the y axis, right? So uh, just select this whole guy and press R and just rotate it uh, 22. Oh wait, let let's uh, 360. Divided by 16, yeah, 22.5. So just type in here 22.5. Perfect, you see, so it's nice aligned uh, because this will just make the following easier. So now I want to create a line, Shift A, because now we can perfectly snap here at the corners. This is what I want. So just snap here and here. And this line, we will create here our curve. So select the line, shift S, raise degree, or just add a point, sub, so subdivide kind of the curve here. And now go to the front view and, and press one. So select this point and yeah, drag that out. Yeah, just create the curve. So it doesn't matter right now how we will do that. So something like that. And now we want just like array that all around so we can create a nice clean loft. So select the curve and click your radial array around the middle and make it eight because we had eight corners. So you see it's always touching the, 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 the straight edges here. Okay. And now while they are all selected, press L loft and loop and 
now you see we get something uh, already what we kind of want but the problem now obviously is that <laughs> so you see we have our main shape and we have a perfect 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 smooth surface but we are not really touching here at uh, this edges here where the corners are so how can we do that and i found something simple so you we have to extend this edge here so if you select it then you can't extend it you can only go inwards and you can't extend that and this was a little bit i had to think how to do that and the solution is simple if we bring back here all of our curves and we select them all uh, except the circle here so select all of those curves here and go to the top view and we have to imprint because we have right now just one massive um, edge but we have to break it into those eight little pieces so we can perfectly use our curve so select them in top view just use imprint here and imprint onto our surface and let's hide again our curves and we have this kind of situation and now if you press alt shift click it's now eight pieces edges and now you can extend it maybe some of you know already what we will do is we now have to intersect so this object with this object and this is because now it looks it's intersecting but if you zoom in then you see it's not really intersecting so again a little trick here just go to uh, to edge mode and alt shift click select this edge and just extend it a little bit further now comes the really fun part just go up to object mode and select here our pentagon and shift click here our disk and now press q for boolean and now we just have to slice it so press shift q but make sure that they are really intersecting so what we have here right okay and voila you can delete this piece you can delete this piece and you can select both of those sheets press j and in edge mode you can select now this edge and you can give it here fillet and chamfers and yeah i don't know it's really really fun and if you found this tutorial helpful and you want to continue to build your skills i've created a series of courses that guide you step by step through mastering plasticity so check out the first link in the description box to find the best fit for your 3d modeling journey and i wish you a nice day bye